Are you looking for the best wireless TV headphones? In this video, we will look at some of the 5 best headphones on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Sennheiser PXC 550-2 Wireless. The best Bluetooth headphones for TV that we've tried are the Sennheiser PXC 550-2 Wireless. Even though Bluetooth headphones like the Sony WH-CH710N Wireless tend to have a lot of audio lag, this problem can be fixed by using a codec other than the standard SBC. Not all headphones, though, can handle more codecs. Enter the PXC 550-2. They have Apt XLL, a low-latency codec that helps keep the music and video of your favorite shows in sync. You'll need a Bluetooth adapter or emitter that works with this codec, though. They can run on a single charge for more than 21 hours, and you can use them while they are charging, which is helpful in a pinch. These comfortable over-ear headphones can connect to more than one device at once, so you can use them with your TV and smartphone at the same time. With their ANC system, you can also block out background noise, like your roommates talking, if you live in a shared area. Their bright sound is good for material that focuses on voices or has a lot of dialogue. Their treble response depends on where and how you put them on your head. Since they also have closed back designs, their inactive sound stages don't seem very immersive or roomy. At number 2. Logitech G433. The Logitech G433 is a good choice if you want the best headphones for TV at the best price. This game headset is easy on the wallet and works well for watching TV. They are wired, which might be a problem if your TV is far from your couch, but their analog link gets rid of latency, so your audio and video stay in sync. They don't have enough low and mid bass, so they won't give action scenes more thump and punch. But your sound is warm and full, and both the instruments and voices are clear and easy to hear. The software that goes with them has a graphic equalizer and presets, so you can change how they sound to fit your tastes. You can also change how the surround sound works, which can make movies and TV shows feel more real. Unfortunately, the headphones don't always give the same sound. To get the same sound every time you wear them, you have to take the time to change how they fit and where they are placed. The padding on the ear cups looks like it would wear out quickly, but the headphones come with two sets of padding. The boom mic can also be taken off, which is nice if all you want to do is watch TV with them. At number 3. Sony WH-CH710N Wireless. The Sony WH-CH710N Wireless are good lower middle-range TV headphones that are less expensive but still have a wireless link. They don't work as well as our top Bluetooth pick, the Sennheiser PXC 550-2 Wireless, because they have higher delay and only support SBC, the default Bluetooth codec. Still, if you're looking for cheap wireless headphones, they have a bass-heavy sound profile that adds rumble and boom to your audio, making action scenes seem more real. Voices and instruments are loud and clear, so you can hear what is being said. They are well-made and fit well enough for long movie sessions. They can be used non-stop for 29 hours on a single charge, and they can be charged in just over 5 hours, which is faster than the other choices. Also, if the battery dies at the wrong time, you can always use them hooked with the 1-8 TRS cable, though it may not be long enough to reach your couch from the TV. The Anitree HT5009 might be a better choice if you want headphones in the middle price range with a wireless dock. Their latency is smaller, so your audio is less likely to be out of sync, but they aren't as comfortable or flexible. At Number 4. Sennheiser RS175 RF Wireless. The Sennheiser RS175 RF Wireless are the best wireless headphones for TV in the upper middle price band. They are in the same line as the Sennheiser RS195 RF Wireless and work just as well for less money. The bass-heavy sound of these headphones, like that of the RS195 RF headphones, can make action-packed movies and TV shows feel more real. Their receiver dock is easy to connect to your TV and has a low latency link so that your audio and video don't get out of sync. Compared to their more expensive brother, they aren't as sturdy and don't have as many features, like the personal hearing profiles that come with the RS-195 RF. The controls are easy to use, and there is a real button on one earcup that you can use to turn on surround sound or add more bass. 
Even though they can't completely block out the noise of a commute, they can block out a lot of noise at home, like background conversation, which is nice when you're watching a movie in a shared area. Their reusable AAA batteries can play music for about 24 hours straight, but it takes more than 8 hours to charge them, which can be a problem if you forget to do it at night. If the battery dies, you can't use them when they are plugged in. Their sound depends more on how well they fit and where they are on your head than the sound of the RS195RF, so you need to adjust them to get a steady sound. But if you have thick hair or wear glasses, you might hear less sound. At Number 5. Sennheiser RS195RF Wireless The Sennheiser RS195RF Wireless is the best pair of TV headphones we have tried. These headphones are made specifically for home entertainment use. They have a receiver dock that plugs directly into most TVs and lets you use them wirelessly with low latency. The buttons on each ear cup make it easy to change the volume and switch between music and talking modes to improve the quality of the sound. The company that makes them says that the personal hearing profiles will improve your listening experience by matching the EQ to your unique tastes. Their bass-heavy sound profile gives the sound effects in action scenes more thump and rumble without making it hard to hear the conversation. They don't always sense sound the same way, though, and if you have thick hair or glasses, you might hear less bass. The fit of these over-ears is nice, but they don't spread pressure well, so places like below the earlobe and on top of the head can get sore after a while. On the plus side, they are well-made, and their stand can be used to charge them when they are not in use.